Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. In today's video, we are going to learn how to create a mark sheet. With the help of the current data set, we are going to create the mark sheet with the help of many excel formulas. So please do not skip the video and watch it till the end to understand how the flow works and how can you make your own mark sheet. So with that, we have a roll number and student name here in column A and B. Let's put some dummy marks for all the subjects. So now we have marks for all the subjects English, Hindi, Physics, Chemistry, Mathematics and Biology. Now what we need to do is we need to get the total of the subject per student. We can do that by using the sum formula. Let's put the formula is equal to sum open bracket then select the entire row where you have the marks close bracket hit enter 356 is the total marks obtained by Ajay let me drag down the formula here we have the total marks obtained by each of the students now next is calculating the percentage the total number of subjects are 6 hence the maximum marks that a student can obtain is 600 so let's calculate the percentage is equal to this is what is the marks obtained out of 600 close bracket hit enter let's drag down the formula if you look at the numbers it is not in the percentage format right so how can we convert it to a percentage format select all go to home in the numbers section you have this percentage symbol just press start so now everything is appearing in percentages so now we will have to grade them so how do we grade them and what is the base that we can consider to grade them right so if I go to little right I have this if the score is above 80% then grade should be A if it is 60 to 80% then grade should be B if it is 50 to 60% grade should be C so on and so forth now what is the formula that we are going to use to get these grades it is nothing but if formula is equal to if open bracket this is greater than 80 percent then give me a put comma put if condition again if and go for next condition now if it is greater than 60 percent and less than 80 percent right so since we have already put a condition for greater than 80 percent now we need not say between these two we can just say if it is above 60 percent right so let's put that again j6 where my percentage is now it is hidden is greater than 60 percent give me b since these grades are in text format I am just keeping them in double inverted commas comma next let's go for the third condition if open bracket j6 is greater than 50% then if the result is true give me grade as C if not the fourth condition if j6 is greater than 35 percent then grade should be D alright if not the only option left is it should be less than 35 right that means if the value is false we should get grade as E close bracket close bracket close bracket close bracket since we have opened the bracket four times we are closing the bracket four times hit enter all right you get the grade just drag down the formula here we are so nobody failed as per this formula right but if you see the marks in Hindi and English we have few folks who have scored less than 35 all right so as of now let's keep it as it is and let's calculate the result based on the result we will come back and modify the grade all right so the result criteria should be if the student passed in all the subjects then the result we should get should be passed 
if not it should be fail so now for that I am going to use a combination of formulas first I want to check did the student fail in any of the subjects for that the formula that I am going to use is count if so is equal to count if the range is this because it has all the subject details comma so the criteria would be less than 35 close bracket the formula has an error that is because if you just write less than 35 it won't take what you need to do to fix this is put this lesser than sign in brackets and combine this one and 35 by and hit enter now you get the result as 0 which means in 0 subjects he has failed let's drag down the formula now based on this we are going to identify whether a student has passed or failed how to do that again we are going to make use of if formula is equal to if open bracket now we know that this formula gives us the number of subjects a student failed right if this is less than 1 or if this is equals to 0 then give me the result as pass if in any of the subjects he has failed then give me the result as fail close bracket enter now you see Ajay has passed and if you come to Ajit he has failed in one subject so we should get the result as failed if we drag down the formula let's see that right we get the result as failed so the formula is working fine let's drag down the formula again here you have the result now so now based on the result we should get the grade so let's keep this grade formula as it is and on the top of it we will use one more formula so go to k6 in the first cell just after is equal to sign type if again open bracket now our criteria is we should get this grade only if the student is passing if l6 cell is equal to pass comma if the result is true then give me this grade if not the grade should be just e close bracket hit enter and for the second one which is for ajit we had grade b that was just based on the percentage even though he has failed in one subject he has scored 60 percent which qualifies for grade b right but since he has failed he shouldn't get grade b he should get grade e so let's drag down the formula now and see whether formula is working correct now you see the grade changed from b to e that means the grade is correct now drag down the formula wherever you see the result as fail you are getting grade e and wherever we are not seeing the result as fail we are getting the proper grades so that's how we can create the mark sheet in a simple way hope you enjoyed today's video and learned how to create mark sheet with the help of many excel formulas if you like the content of the video please like the video share the video and subscribe to my channel until next video happy learning